Hello everyone! Today we are going to be making a sketchbook and illustrating the first mermaid of Mermay. Ugh, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> are we ready to do this? Let's make a sketchbook for the mermaids. Or Mermay. Let's tackle that sketchbook first. I decided I wanted to do the majority of my illustrations in either watercolor or gouache, so I needed a watercolor paper sketchbook, but I also wanted to be able to sketch out my designs before I commit to anything, so I wanted some sketch paper too. So I selected the papers that I wanted in my sketchbook and some chipboard for the cover. I am using this Project Life spiral binder for my sketchbook and I will be using the Project Life hole punch that goes with it. So I measured the binder and gave it two extra inches, so the sketchbook is going to be seven inches by six inches. Now I just take my guillotine cutter and slice those pages down to size. After nearly knocking my camera off the tripod, I got my sketch paper and cut that down to size as well. Then I got my watercolor paper, and you know the drill. Just continue cutting those pages, and cutting, and cutting, and cutting. I cut enough to have 30 pages of watercolor paper and 30 pages of sketch paper. But wait, you say, there are 31 days in May. Never you fret, I have something special for day one that you'll see in just a minute. So as you see here, I got this Project Life hole punch that punches four little neat square holes and even has a guide to show you where to line it up for the next punch. My spiral binder has ten, oh, uh, what do you call them, tines, no, spirals, yeah, that'll do. So I had to keep counting to make sure I didn't go over ten. Once all the holes are punched, just slide in the binder and bend it closed and you are done. Oh wait, I'm not done. I told you I had something special for the first mermaid. Before I assembled my sketchbook, I wanted to give it a nice cover. So our first mermaid of Mermay will have a place of honor on the front of our sketchbook. Now I'm going to talk about my plans for Mermay. If you don't know what Mermay is, it's a daily drawing challenge in which you will draw or paint a mermaid every day for the entire month of May. I'm very excited since I have never done this particular drawing challenge. Now the challenge part, for me, is not necessarily going to be the everyday part, because as many of you know, I post art daily on my social media accounts, but this will be a challenge because of the fact that I don't often draw people, or fish for that matter, so I'm definitely looking forward to developing my pose drawing and face drawing skills, and fishy drawing skills too. I also wanted to give myself a little theme or structure, since I know me, if I don't give myself a plan or direction, who knows where this will go, I tend to go off on drawing tangents. So I have a list of 30 different types of fish or sea creature that I'm going to randomly select from every day, and I'm going to create a mermaid design for that type of fish or sea creature. For example, some of the things on this list are squid, dolphin, sunfish and pufferfish. I am really looking forward to the pufferfish. I have a great idea for this one. But today's mermaid doesn't have an animal of inspiration. She's just a mermaid. Instead of focusing on a particular animal I wanted to base her on, I wanted to play around with different types of media since I don't work on chipboard very often. The first thing I used was Spectrum Noir alcohol markers. I wanted a very light, transparent color for the background, and I knew from one of the few times I worked on chipboard, watercolor just doesn't work. At least not on this particular type of chipboard. I swatched the colors on the back of the board so I knew how they would act and what they would look like when dry before I started. This is a good habit to get into, but one I often forget to do. After I colored in my background design, I started in on painting the mermaid in gouache. This is the Windsor & Newton gouache, and honestly my favorite brand, though I can't say I've tried many high-end gouaches. I love how smooth it is, no matter how much or how little water you add to it. It thins really nicely if you want to use it like watercolor, and it can be used straight out of the tube like acrylics with no problem. 
I don't own another type of gouache that is quite as nice as this one. Now, chipboard is difficult to paint on because it sucks up all the liquids. This makes the paint dry really fast and also means that if there's too much water, it will be transparent and blotchy. I found this out when I went to add the skin tone, so I had to make it thicker than I normally would and only add enough water to spread the paint. Here's a little tip for mixing a pretty deep lavender color. Mix your red, blue, and white as you normally would, but add just a bit of green. This will bring the saturation down a bit and give it a little grayer shade so that it looks like a really nice, soft, desaturated color. So, I made some mistakes on the face, which caused me to have to rework it a few times. I should have gone back in with my colored pencil to redraw the facial features, but I thought I could remember where they were. I was wrong. I also made the eyebrows way too dark. But I went with it and just reshaped the face accordingly. I lightened the eyebrows and softened the nose by adding a little white and blending it in. favorite part of the painting, the little details. I added some shimmering strands of hair, some scale details, and tail highlights, and then I started in on the neck. I wanted her to be wearing it like a dress, or kind of more like a toga, swirled around her and draping over her tail. I wanted to incorporate the title of the sketchbook as well, so I added in little bits of coral and seaweed in the shape of letters to spell out mermaid. Castell fine liner to draw in the netting. I would normally use micron pens on a gouache painting since they are waterproof when dry, but since this was going on top of the dry paint and I knew I wasn't going over the Faber Castell in water, this worked just fine. I also used my Jelly Roll white gel pen to add highlights and outlines here and there. I went back with some light blue gouache to add bubbles and extra little effects. Today's video was fun and informative. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. I am really excited to be participating in Mermaid. Are you planning on taking part in this drawing challenge? If so, let me know in the comments. I will be doing a sketchbook tour at the end of the month, so stay tuned for that. But if you want to see the mermaids every day, be sure to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, where I will upload daily. Links in the description box. I hope you have a great day. Bye.